Hey y'all. So I'm back with the uh, little golden book, Mother Goose, uh, or Mother Goose, little golden book. I was gonna do this video yesterday, and I'll just tell you that it took, <laughs> I did the other, the other two books that I just recently loaded and put in the shop. It took overnight, over 10 hours to load that video, and I do not know why. I don't know if it's my connection. Sometimes things load up, you know, within 20 minutes. Sometimes it takes 12 hours. I have no idea. But anyway, so <clears throat> I um, ended up not doing this video yesterday. I'm doing it today, and hopefully it'll load today. If not, it'll be up Monday. But uh, so this one was, you know, y'all know that I just, I just have this thing about these little golden books. And when I was doing the other Mother Goose ones, you know, I had this one and I actually have another copy of this particular book. I didn't realize I had another one. I've collected so many, it's ridiculous, but I love this book. I just, it's one of my favorites. And um, I just, you know, Eloise Wilkins, I think is one of everybody, everybody's favorites. And um, I did not use, this was one that I had taken apart and I actually used a couple of the pages in some other books so that all of the pages from the book are not in here, but a good portion of them are. So, um, yeah, and this is one that I did the, I did the flex spine with. So the spine is flexible and there's, you know, there's a lot in here, but there's still a lot of room to grow. I did my little tie. I did my little tie on this one with the uh, quilt fabrics and the linen, vintage linen. And um, like I said in the last video, and I apologize, I'll try not to say um a hundred times. I just, I love the way, the feel of these with the linen on the back is, is just really cool, which I like them all, but this just feels, it's just really nice. And this is all quilt fabric pieces that I pieced together. Uh, you can, you know, you can see that, that they're, it's just a lot of them. Really, really cool, really pretty, very eclectic was the word I was trying to think of in my last video. And I really think that my style is, is pretty eclectic because I like mixing all kinds of things together. And on this one, I did the, I also did the quilt fabric on the spine and I stitched through, I stitched through the book on this one. And then I added, some uh, rickrack and some pom-pom trim. I just thought it, it gave it a little extra, uh, you know, whimsy and fun to it. And then uh, vintage buttons and a little bitty vintage domino on this one. So there's heart, flower beads, uh, glass beads, the ladybug, the butterfly, the heart, and uh, just fun stuff. These are, this is probably one of my favorite things to do is to make charms and, and to play with that. I just really enjoy doing that. And then there's four signatures in this. And probably, um, I don't know, I didn't count the pages. I would say at least 80 or 90 pages in here. And I left the front and the back like I normally do. And um, this is, you'll get a, a big pack of stuff just like the other books that I put together. I just, I have so many things and then I'm trying not to put everything in the books. I'm trying to like give you, um, you know, do enough of embellishing with the tabs and things like that, but not overdoing it so that you can really make it your own. Because if I do all of it, um, you know, I personally, I want my books to be used. I, you know, I hope you guys who have purchased them are using them and not um, sitting them on a shelf. But, you know, if that's what you like to do, that's, you know, that's your thing. I'm not, not judging anybody. But anyway, so, so four signatures. And on this first one with the first page, you know, I stitched the, stitched the page in to a piece of cardstock. And this is a 1977 printing of this particular book. I used that, uh, another piece of that um, cross stitch table runner to make a big pocket here. Uh, I just didn't wanna, I didn't want to cut 
that up. So I thought it would be kind of neat to put you a big pocket here and you can put, you know, put tuck things in there. And I just clipped on uh, some little crochet flowers and some little buttons here. So you can move that around, you know, if you don't, if you don't like it there, you can move it. And this is the same stuff, you know, cardstock, music paper. This is a vintage um, music paper from a kid's book, you know, made a pocket, wallpaper. This, I absolutely love. This is one of my favorite. Uh, I have yet to use this. this. is the first time I've used this in a book yet because I've got some other, I've got some other ideas for some of these really, um, for some of these other vintage things that I have, I want to do some different things. So I'm kind of hoarding this, but I just thought it was so pretty. You can see the sort of stains on it, and I just cut it and glued it in here. It's just really, really pretty. Really pretty vintage lace. And then, so I put a um, library pocket. This was in some Happy Mail um, that a girl sent me, one of my friends sent me, and she sent me several of these. So I thought this one, if you decided you want to put one in here, would go really pretty with this particular book. And scrapbook paper, I put some little um, washi labels throughout this one. Gift wrap paper, vintage ledger, some more washi, just to add some little details. And then, the, of course, my little vintage buttons in the middle of the signature. Uh, some more washi. Some of my Richard Scarry envelopes. This one I did seal. Some of them I'll leave open. So here what I did, because um, I didn't sew in any plastic sleeves in here. So what you can do with this is um, you can cut this apart if you want to and use it within your book and make you a pocket. You can staple this on the side you can use the fabric washi that will work the fabric washi will hold to this uh, to make this like a little flip out or you can just simply use it like this and put you know load it from the side with a picture or journaling or whatever and staple it in and then it kind of flips up so there's two little uh, three by fours on one side and a four by six on the other so I just put that in there for you to use if you want it. It's optional, you don't have to. It's another page from the book. Wallpaper. And then here is another uh, pocket out of some vintage, um, I don't know what this particular thing is called, it's like an embroidery, but it was a vintage linen and then I just backed it with um, another plain piece of sort of cotton and made a pocket here. And then I, there, this is a vintage lace here that I made a little tab out of, a little paper tab here, and that's the end of the first signature. So there is some white space. I really tried not to leave a, a whole lot of white space. I know some people don't like that, but you know, if you're gonna use it as a writing journal, you know, you need some of that. I just stapled a little flip here. Music paper. Here's one of the big tags that I made from the um, prayer book. With the, these images are just beautiful. I, know, I don't know how many times I can say that. They just are. <laughs> More uh, vintage gift wrap. Here is the little pocket that I put in this one made out of vintage music paper from a kid's book. And my little cluster images with the fabric and the buttons on it with a, just a layaway tag stuck in there. So I clip these in all these books so that you can put it wherever you want to. Little pocket on this side. One of the pages from the book. Peas parge hot. <laughs> Love that graph paper that I tea dyed. Just some cardstock, vintage. This is a vintage graph paper scrapbook paper in the middle. And then this one is, is one of my little buttons that I made that I stamped, actually stamped a ladybug on and colored it and made a little button out of it. Another book page. I think there's only maybe one or two book page, you know, a couple of book pages missing. There's plenty of them in here. 
Here I made a little tab with a scrap piece of, another scrap piece of linen that was cross stitch. And then I just layered it with another um, plain piece of, plain scrap of linen up underneath. And then I clipped a couple of vintage buttons to it. Other pocket gift wrap. The other side of the music to the pocket. Flip this little piece in. Another envelope. And yeah, I glued this one too. Yeah. Some of them, sometimes I'll leave them open. Sometimes I just go ahead and glue them. So in this one, this is the, <clears throat> this is the Eloise Wilkin page from the book. Um, board book that I gave you as a writing. I just kind of tucked it in the, I tucked it in the middle of the book. Little flip here. This is a hidden paper clip here with a little, um, this is a little baby in a high chair. And then the little envelope on this side, which I have, I'm gonna have to fix that one. I'm gonna check on this one too. I don't know why I did this and why I didn't check it before I got on video. Anyway, I'll fix that. It's just barely tacked right there. I just gotta pull it apart. But it's a little envelope. I, there's nothing in the envelope. But this is the other side of your paper clip. So this this will clip on either side like that. Another pocket, like the other one, I kind of did it um, so they went together. Of course, anyway, I think these turned out pretty cool. I layered them. So actually, it's kind of I didn't stitch down on the bottom at this um, with this layer. And you really, you probably could tuck something up underneath here as well, and it's a pocket. More vintage wallpaper. Kids writing paper. Another um, sleeve, another plastic sleeve. This one, these are both four by six. You can cut those up, use them however you want to as pockets. This is a little um, corner of a vintage uh, linen napkin that has the embroider on it, and I just stapled it in as a little flip. Here is one of the book pages from um, the Mother Goose, the Corrine Melvern's Mother Goose that I just did. And it, these, these pages, they're just, mm, they're just amazing. Anyway, so I stuck a page in here for you to make pockets out of, or you can cut the images out. Um, I tried not to crease it too much because they are fragile. And I think you can still use it either way if you make a, if you glue it onto something and give it some sturdiness. So there's the middle of this signature with some vintage buttons, another pocket. And in here, I tucked a few things from another Big Mother Goose book in here that I thought you might like, or someone might like to use. Another book page from the book, stitched in, wrapping paper. Cardstock, I'll just put another little paper tab the pocket that's the third signature and then this is the fourth signature another pocket this is a page from that um, the workbook the vintage workbook the little Peter Rabbit um, tag with the heart clip Tons and tons of space. Some of my um, tea dyed mixed media paper is a little bit thicker paper. And then an envelope in the middle of this signature from one of those fun larger books. That little squirrel and those flowers is so cute. Took a little, um, couple of little scraps of some linen pieces that I had um, and just made a little tab here. Here, I just folded over uh, this really cute, this is vintage um, wrapping paper. 
Look at those little ducks. Aren't they cute? I just thought that went really well in here. So what I did, and you can tell, you can look at the aging on the paper. Um, I just folded that over. And this is resume paper here. And then in the back, I just stapled this in as a flip. And that is this book. Really super fun. Um, and this one's listed in the shop. I hope you guys like it. And you can see it's it's pretty full, but you know, you've got you've got room. You got room to grow in there and you can move things around um, you know, how you want them. And then you'll get this this really fun pack of stuff too. But anyhow, I hope you guys are are having a, a great Sunday and I hope this I can get this video to load today. And I will see you soon. I've got some other things. Um I also have, I have one more journal that I've finished, and I'm, I'm going to post this one, I'm going to post this one later this week. If I can get it done today, I'll go ahead and get it up, but, um, in the shop, but I may not get to that today, but that'll be coming soon, and then I've got some other things I'm working on as well, because I'm always working on, you know, 10 different things at a time. My crazy brain. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye.